I've been banned from Twitch. Uh, it's not a long ban, but it's still a ban. I'll be back on Twitch probably by next week. But it's incredibly frustrating for a bunch of reasons. And it's kind of a long story, but I hope you'll stick Drew with me for a little bit. Donated $50. We D-U-C-K-Z you up. We take Z money. <laughs> thanks, 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 Judaism. I appreciate it. Long time supporter of the channel. Everybody donating, everybody subbing, I really do appreciate it. Um, it really does help the channel uh, as we're dealing with revenue loss due to the demonetization on YouTube and now uh, the banning on Twitch. So last year, I think it was in October, after a bunch of other demonetizations and channel strikes, all of which were eventually brought back, except for, except for one false channel strike that was left on the channel, we got demonetized and we were originally told that we were demonetized for harassment and so Nez we were Neji has donated five dollars i'm a help out a little oh thank you for the five dollars i appreciate it i do really do i really do appreciate all the donations um so we heard it was harassment and we were like okay that's strange because we don't engage in harassment here we just cover the news we cover the news we talk about the news we might mess with our friends every once in a while, but I don't berate anybody. I don't send you guys to go harass people. Uh, so I was a little confused. And so we messaged them like, hey, what, what's going on here? And then they switched it to sensitive content policy violations. And then they switched it again and again and again in communication until eventually after it gone through like child safety, a bunch of other stuff, it came back to harassment. And they said they were not going to review it anymore. They said they could not give me an explanation as to why I was demonetized outside of harassment. They could not point me to a single video where I engaged in harassment, and they could not point me to any general behavior that I've engaged in that would be considered harassment, except for the vague entirety of the term harassment. So I was like, okay, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what channel, what videos to remove or whatnot, what not to remove. I'm just gonna keep asking on YouTube for some, uh, on Twitter for some help. Never did anything. We went through an entire four months of demonetization. It cost us a lot of money. Um, it cost us a lot of money. Then once that demonetization was over- Joyanide has donated $5. $5 minimum donation gang. Thank you for the five dollars i do appreciate it then once that demonetization period of four months was over and by the end of it we still didn't know what exactly we had done we reapplied as they told us we could for monetization within 24 hours it was then rejected and the reason they gave us this time was for hate speech that we had engaged in hate speech of some sort i'm a very hateful individual my russophobia has finally caught up with me we then asked, what hate speech did we engage in? We don't believe we engage in hate speech. And then they gave us no clarifying information. In fact, they further confused us by then sending us child safety guidelines. Now, this might sound confusing. They're saying you violated the rules, but they can't point you to what rule you violated or what video you violated the rule in, which they then repeated for the uh, child safety and the uh, bigotry and the hatred guidelines that we supposedly violated. Uh, once again, saying they couldn't show us which video, couldn't show us what behavior. So they were just kind of randomly just saying, you engaged in harassment, four months. You engaged in hate speech, three months. And we had no clue what it was in relation to. Now, that's YouTube. I think it's auto mod. That's what I think's doing it. Maybe it's a bunch of people who don't like my channel, either because I uh, cover the war in Ukraine constantly, or I don't support the Russian invasion because I'm not a demented freak. For whatever reason, maybe they're brigading me. Who knows? I can't say. Nobody from YouTube has really sat me down and tried to give me a rundown. This business is all about who you know, and I am not in the know. Anyway, I'm now waiting another three months to, to see if YouTube will re-monetize my channel. So we're just waiting. We even asked them, could we delete every YouTube video? And then could we do it since you won't tell us what we did wrong and we don't want to have to apply again when it's already cost us between ten dollars and $15,000 in potential revenue? We don't want to have to apply again in the future. Could any guideline? Nothing. So we're like, can we just delete all the videos? And they said, yes, but we'll still grade you based upon the videos you deleted. So I'm really just waiting until YouTube decides that our channel can be monetized again. And I feel like there's really nothing I can do since they're not giving me any guidelines for exactly what I did wrong or anything. So that's my position with YouTube. 
Now, I'm also banned on Twitch, and that's why we're talking about it again today, because I uh, I need to become one of those conservatives with, like, the, you know, the tape over my mouth and write censored on it and, like, frazz up my hair, look disheveled, like I just got dragged out of, a like, a Communist Party gulag or something. Now, I just got banned on Twitch. It's not a long ban. Hopefully, I'll be back in a week. But what confuses me about this ban is how unequal it was in its application. The reason I was banned off of Twitch was for aiding streamer ban evasion. Now, there's only one video this could be in reference to that I'm aware of, and it's what we watched yesterday on Twitch. It was a debate between Destiny and Ben Shapiro. Now, in the past, I, I had been led to believe that, you know, for some reason, watching Destiny streams on Twitch, nobody gets caught, and nobody I knew had ever really gotten banned for it, or very few people, and a lot of people kept getting away with it. And so more and more and more people kept watching Destiny content on Twitch and basically getting away with it. And I was one of them. Um, now, that's not to say that I agree with the policy and principle. I don't. I think that the, uh, you know, I'll get to that in a second. Point is, I watched his stream. And for whatever reason, this time, even though everybody else gets away with it, I got banned. And no one else did, even though everybody else also watched it. And when I say everybody else also watched it, that's where the title of today's stream comes into line, because not only did everyone else watch it, but people much, much bigger than me watched it, including no other than Hasanabi, who also watched it on his stream live in front of tens upon tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of more viewers, if you count his entire stream, than was on my stream. If you check out my VOD in total, it's got like two to 3,000 views probably, right? Because I'm a smaller streamer. I'm in that weird middle ground where I'm not like a one to two viewer streamer trying to, trying to climb up the ladder. I'm not one of those thousands upon thousands of viewer streamer. I'm in the hundreds range. I'm in that period. I'm in that space where, you know, you don't feel the most secure, but you feel like you've got to a place where, you know, you can at least make a living off of it. It's a very weird position to be in as a streamer. At least it feels like that to me. The point is, I got much less viewership than Hassan. Much less viewership than Hassan. Many more people know about Hassan than know about me. Many more people watched his stream that day than watched my stream. Yet, I'm the one banned, and he isn't. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up isn't because I want Hassan Piker to be banned. I don't. I genuinely, and I mean this genuinely, I genuinely don't want him to be banned. I don't like people who go after other people's livelihoods. Um, there's nothing worse than you can do to a man than try to take away his ability to put food on the table for himself or his family and try to plan his future, especially if that man loves his job. It ain't no 7-Eleven, it ain't you know just some random gas station. This is a job that is a dream job for them. And I wouldn't want to ruin that for Hassan. And so I don't want Hassan to be banned. That's not what I want out of this. What I want to know is how I could get banned on Twitch for the same thing that he did in front of way more people. I mean, what's the odds of a moderator stumbling upon Hassan's stream in comparison to my stream? Again, if we if we look at money, can we can we see actually how many how many people watch this stream? Four hundred and twenty eight thousand people watched Hassan's stream. That's a lot of people, and I'm good job. And I will say Hassan's a much better streamer than I. I could not do 10 hour streams like Hassan does. I, I couldn't talk about politics for that long. Uh, I'm not a great multitasker. My ADHD screws me up, so I can't really play video games and talk at the same time. He's a much better streamer than I am. He probably has earned this viewership. But then if you go to my stream, one second, oh, my channel's banned, but my viewership is between two and 3,000. So why is it that my channel that got so much less attention got caught up and got banned, but the person who got nearly half a million views yesterday watching the same thing is still on Twitch. I'm not saying let's ban Hassan again. That's not my solution to this. That's not what I'm asking for. What I'm asking for is why are the rules always applied so unequally? And why is it that we still have this asinine policy? Asinine policy. What, what is being accomplished by banning people 
for watching a debate between two people who are quite politically influential, at least online. What, what, it's not like Destiny said anything hateful or violated policy in this debate. It's not like by not watching this debate, we have further punished Destiny on this platform. All we're doing is punishing people who didn't violate the policies that led to Destiny being banned, even though I, I forget the exact situation they even got him banned, or if it was legitimate or not. Probably not with Twitch's record. Point is, though, this, this is just completely unfair. And usually I just kind of like bite the bullet and be like, fine, I'm a small streamer. He's a big streamer. It is what it is. It's the law of the jungle or whatever the fuck. But it isn't. It isn't fair. And I just, I, I just can't stand it, man. After the YouTube and this, it's just, it's just unbelievably frustrating. It just feels like the standards are apply, un applied unbelievably unequally. And again, my solution isn't for this rule to now be applied to Asan. It's for us to get rid of this rule altogether. Destiny didn't go on Twitch. Destiny didn't get to come back here and avoid his ban. Somebody got to watch a debate between Destiny and Ben Shapiro. That's all that happened. So it, it just doesn't make sense to me why we have the policy in the first place. I can understand if it's like, don't have the person physically on your stream or don't have them like uh, live on any other stream. I can understand that rule, but banning their appearance altogether? It's ridiculous. I remember when Trump got banned off of Twitch for a short period of time and everybody was like, can we talk about the president? Can we talk about the former president of the United States on Twitch? Or are we not allowed to talk about the former president of the United States on Twitch? We're already bending the rules a little bit here. Because we realize how silly it would be if we ended up banning people because they showed Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, on stream. It feels like we should just allow anybody to be shown on stream, but you don't need to allow everybody to come on stream. Just, it just feels like an overreaching, overbearing rule for no good reason. Anyway, there needs to... The, either somebody needs to get rid of this rule or they need to apply it equally. But again, my solution isn't Hassan to get banned, is to get rid of the stupid rule. But man, Twitch is everybody you know. And so is making it in this business, is everyone you know. It's connections, connections, connections. That's the reason I'm, not, I'm still banned on YouTube, and it's probably the reason I'm gonna stay banned on Twitch.